and look inside there we've got some tomatoes tomatoes that have sprouted so we're going to take the lid off of this because we don't want to get a bunch of fungus there let's just go ahead and look at this so obviously we now have the problem of starting tomatoes and peppers together our tomatoes on this side have largely sprouted our peppers over here not really so much if I've got a normal everyday spray bottle here I just put some water into it I'm going to take this and I'm just going to spritz and spray so they remain moist and that way the peppers will still have a moist surface with which to germinate and uh, the tomatoes will have that moisture and be ready to take off and uh, the next step that they critically need is some light all right now we've got them in our little grow area where we've got the lights set up so um, they'll be able to have access to light now I tell this peppers you know it's it's still a little bit cold for me to want to set these right outside I talked about not going through hardening off by putting them outside but I think we have an overnight low tonight of 39 degrees but for right now I'm going to have them under this light we'll talk further about varying lighting setups in the next couple of days um, but just wanted to give you an update that my seeds have sprouted all right it's April 29th these have been under the lights for a couple days now look how much healthier they now look um, having had the light to grow under the pepper seeds it looks like we might just be beginning to see a sprout coming out there um, but we'll certainly keep you updated as we continue to grow both the tomatoes and peppers in the cups that we covered the peppers haven't yet sprouted that I can tell but we'll pull off the ziplock when when we do see sprouts in there and the tomatoes I actually messed up a little bit they're full of, of water at a higher level than I expected so we'll have to to see um, on the, the cut base method there but anyhow that's just the quick update for today thank you for tuning in